Hello, it's Peter here from Woodrow Handcrafts in Gympie. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the quilt uh, sewing applications menu on the Janome Skyline S7. So to get to the quilt menu to start with, zoom in a little bit for everyone, go to the t-shirt, so that's our sewing applications menu and then use the right and left arrows here at the bottom of the screen to go over to the next page and select quilting. So there's six options here. You've got straight stitch, clasp stitch, free quilting, sculpture, hand look quilt stitch and variable zigzag. So in this tutorial I'll use all of those for you to show you how this menu can help you save time and create great things. So the first one we're going to use is the variable zigzag. So this one down here, bottom right hand corner. Drop our feed dogs. So I've got four options on the screen. Uh, free motion using the PDH foot for the top, middle and left hand orientation of the stitch. And then the next one down is using the QV for the middle and the left hand orientation of the stitch. I prefer to use the QV foot, which is the floating foot. So I'll just zoom out, show you we've got the QV foot on there, and I've also, also got the knee lift on this machine. So how the, how the variable zigzag works is that you'll have a, you'll start off in free motion straight stitch, and as you push your knee against the knee lift, the machine will start zigzagging for you so you can create quite intricate patterns using this. Uh, what I've got the machine set with, I have gone into settings and set my uh, variable zigzag sensitivity to 3. Uh, the default is 2. I prefer the 3. It just gives you a little bit more control over what you're doing. Uh, foot height, which you can set yourself. I'll zoom back in on the screen. So your foot height is this guy here. If you press that one, it's on 1.5. Depends on the fabric that you're using um, and the wadding as to how high you need that. We always find that it's best to have the, have the foot uh, pressing into the fabric slightly. Gives you a better stitch, gives you more control over your stitch. You can adjust that with the plus and minus there. Um, once you're happy with it, press OK. What else you've got up here? This one here, the needle with the one dot, means it will do one stitch and stop. So you can trim off your uh, thread tail if you want to. If you don't want to do that, just press that and it'll start off straight away for you at normal speed. And the one there, if you press that and it's highlighted in yellow, means you've set the pivot function. So when you take your foot off the foot control, Needle will stop down, foot will lift, so you can pivot slightly. That's how I would have my machine set up. Okay, start off. I'll lower my foot, press the needle down. You'll see I've got a couple of lines here, drawn here. They're just for a guide, give me an idea of what, where I need to be, what I need to be, how big I want this to be. So what I'm doing, um, I'm stitching some grass trees. So to start with, you've got a stalk, come to about here, and then the head of that. So, what I'll do first, I'll free motion out. Come back. That's more just for a guide than anything. I'll start out now. Press out on my knee lift, just slightly. The slower you can move your hands and the faster have your needle going, you'll get a better stitch. You'll see there that's just skipped a little bit on me. That's because I've jerked my hands. If you want better coverage, you can just go back over that. Again, if you want to. Just try and keep constant pressure on your knee lift so you're not getting too many abnormalities in the stem. So 
So now when I get to the end of the uh, stalk that I've sewn, I'm going to press out slightly, a little bit more on the knee lift, and that'll go to a wider stitch now. Now, as you get wider, you need to go slower with your hands. The machine will automatically slow down with the stitching. And there we go. That's our first stalk done. Okay, so I've got my grass trees sewn. I'll go zoom out and go back in on the screen a bit more. So the next part of the, in this is, we're going to do some free motion. Now a bit of stippling. So free, go back out, go to free quilting menu. And once again, I've got four options. I've got straight stitch and zigzag using the PDH foot. If I go down to the next level, I've got the QC or QO or the QV with the zigzag. The one we want is the straight stitch because we're just going to, sti going to stipple. Now you've got a couple of options here. We can stay with the foot that we had on there or we can change over to the QC, QO foot. Personally, for, the, for this project, I'm just going to stay with the QV foot on there. Won't affect anything. And off we go. Is that right, Katrina? Okay. It's going still. Okay, so we're all ready to go. What I've got here is you'll see that I've drawn a square around. So I'm just using that as a guide. I'm going to start in the corner of the square there. And off we go. Okay, so we've stippled that square now. So I'll zoom out, see exactly what we're doing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to quilt around the outside. We go back in on the screen. So if I just press the arrow there at the top, take me back to the quilting menu. And what we're going to start with is we're going to go with the straight stitch. So it tells me to raise my feed dogs and then gives me three options. I can have straight stitch, lockomatic, or locking stitches. Uh, we're going to start with lockomatic, and we'll quilt around the outside here. And I'll start from one of the corners here, and off we go. Okay, so I've now sewn uh, two rows of straight stitch around my pre-motion quilting. So the next uh, stitch that we're going to use is the sculpture stitch. So I'll go back in on the screen for you. Once again, press the arrow there, go to sculpture, and I'm going to select the stitch on the left. You've got three different types there. And once again, it's just using, uh, I'm just using the F2 foot. I haven't changed the thread or the needle. And I'm just going to sew around the uh, white line there that I've got drawn. Okay, so that's our sculpture stitch. You can see there, there's a slightly different texture to the stitch. The photos in the article will show this up a lot better. 
next up that we're going next stitch that we're going to use on the S7, I'll go back in on the screen, is we're going to, going to use the hand look quilt stitch. So if I go back, hand look quilt QU down the bottom here. And the stitch that I'm interested in is this first one, hand look one. Uh, it's 4.5. I like to take the length out to three. Just gives a better looking stitch. And if I expand that menu there, you'll see that the tension on this stitch is set at eight for your needle tension. So what that means is we need to re-thread our needle with a monofilament thread and that will give us a very nice looking stitch and it will draw the bobbin thread up. So I'll get that all set up and I'll give you a look at that. And there you go, that's how your quilt, your hand look quilt stitch turns out. 